If you like to anchor frequently, especially overnight, there are a few things that can really give you peace of mind. The most obvious is a good anchor that can hold in a blow, and we've shown just how great these Vulcan anchors can be. But there are a few other bits that connect your anchor to your boat that are sometimes overlooked. Today, on my boat, we're gonna upgrade this anchoring system to all chain road. Before placing an order, you need to check the dimensions of your windlass gypsy. Order the wrong spec chain, and it will either jam or skip. Most of these top mount lumars run a 516th inch gypsy in North America. Fortunately, Titan makes an ISO high test G43 spec chain. Now swapping out a heavy anchor and road is probably best done when the boat's still on the hard. But if you're like me and you do your best thinking while floating, your boat might already be in the water. So you gotta plan ahead a little. We could put the dinghy in and drop all the chain and road into the dinghy. Or we could just turn the boat around, overhang the dock, and do it right on the dock. To make life easy, we've borrowed a wheelbarrow to stake all this chain and road into. The nylon is pretty tough, but over time, it can get a bit moldy. If you notice a funny smell coming from the anchor locker, you've just discovered another benefit of all chain road, especially if your anchor locker adjoins a stateroom. The chain weighs over 300 pounds, so we've got a little fan dangling to do. Now this is galvanized 5 16th. In fact, it's hot dip galvanized, but you're still gonna get a bit on your hands, so some gloves just help keep your hands clean while you're handling all that chain. Sorry, Maverick. Position the new chain below the windlass and be sure to kill the breaker before feeding the first bit through manually. A moving windlass, chain, and fingers do not play well together. Once we get a little bit of it down there, we can tie it onto the wood block at the other end, and then we'll use the windlass to carry the rest of it. This block won't fit through the deck if you accidentally pay out too much chain but it is also important to tie it off with something you can easily cut if you have to let it go in an emergency. Now you can use the windlass to feed most of the remaining chain into the locker. One great thing about chain is its tendency to self-pile with minimal tangling. With a few feet left on the dock, we set about securing the anchor. All Titan chains are built with precision links, but they do come in a couple of different strengths. You can get G30, G40, and this is the high test G43 that has a working load limit of 1,770 kilograms or 3,900 pounds. Now, there's no point in getting the high test chain if you don't also get a high test shackle. Now, the standard shackle is still fully compliant but only has a working load limit of 2,200 pounds. They do have a black pin shackle, though, that has a working load limit of 4,400 pounds, much more than just this 516th chain. So, it's important to match the appropriate shackle to the appropriate chain. So, why bother with all chain rope? It's not for holding power. That's a bit of a myth. Sure, any chain on the bottom provides some holding power, but when the wind really picks up, zero chain will be in contact with an even bottom. The real benefit of chain is abrasion resistance on rocky or coral-laden seabeds. It doesn't take long for a sharp rock to cut or weaken nylon road. So if you can't see the bottom, or you know there are rocks down there, and you want to sleep at night, you might want to consider all-chain road.